were in Santa Monica, California to help Giovanna, who was ghosted by Dante, her first real boyfriend, and left heartbroken, searching for answers. So Dante flies to Florida. You're sitting there with your phone waiting for a text back. It didn't happen. He never replied. He never called me back. I'm starting to think he might not have even gone to Florida. <laughs> Just tell her, look, this isn't working. It's honestly super uncomfortable to talk about. The real reason I ghosted you. <laughs> you are a waste of men. This is MTV's Ghosted. We met at a restaurant here in Santa Monica. I was walking to the bathroom and he stopped me. He was like, hi, you're really cute. And I was just like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Thank you for saying that. And then he asked for my number. He was my first boyfriend. Ever? Ever. Oh, wow. Our chemistry was so good that we couldn't keep our hands off of each other. Sex at the beginning was okay. He was kind of shy, I understand that, but I'm Latina. We are just like, we have this passion in ourselves to whatever we do. And the last couple of months, sex was so good. Everything was just like lovely. And where's Dante from? Florida. He's from Florida, okay. Yeah. And how long did you guys date? For seven months. Okay. So I really thought that he was the one. We're pretty much 24 seven, like every day. And we were always talking about like moving together. Mm -hmm. I remember that we were actually planning to like look for apartments. In the last couple of months, he was working every night because he wanted to be a professional poker player. And you supported him? 100%. But everything ended on December 12th when I dropped him at the airport. Explain to us what happened December 12th on the day that he actually ghosted you. Um, sorry guys. He told me that he just was planning on staying in Miami for two weeks for Christmas. He even promised me that he will come back by New Year's Day so we can spend it together. I remember that I dropped him at the airport and I was kind of like scared of doing it because I knew that he had a friend in Florida. That was him. He always said they were never together, but obviously I didn't believe him. And how can you be friends with someone and like never, you know? Never hooked up with them? Yeah. So you don't think guys and girls can be friends? No. He never replied, he never called me back. I was just like worried because I really loved him. And I saw that he posted a story with Alyssa. I really felt like they were just like more than friends. I got so mad, I started like calling him and texting him. He blocked me from Snapchat, Instagram, everywhere. And he gossiped me, so was, uh, something really, really bad is going on. So he blocked you right after that? Yeah. This is actually silly, but I think that it was because my mom didn't like him that much. She mentioned it to me like once or twice. It's just that she actually doesn't like like the guys, you know, that I like. My mom was trying to protect me. She feels like I can do better. But Dante knew your mom didn't like him. I don't know. Do you think that she would be open to talking to us? I'm actually about to grab lunch with my mom. I can call her. You can give yeah. her a call? Yeah, no, that'd, be, that'd great. be great. We're here because of Dante. Oh, we heard you feel a certain way about Dante. He is very lazy. I want a gentleman for my daughter. Of course. Oh. Do you have any reasons as to why you might think he ghosted her? Maybe he has another girl. Has Giovanna told you about Allison? Not a lot, but yeah. But he's playing with her. I hope you never find that. <laughs> wow. Christmas with my besties. He spent Christmas Day in Sherman Oaks, California. I thought he went home for Christmas. I'm confused now. So he went home for a bit, but came back? That doesn't really make sense. OK, this may be a crazy idea, but I'm starting to think he might not have even gone to Florida. It is possible. He never even left California mm -hmm. and stayed here the whole time. Yeah. Let's message all of his homies that are in the Christmas picture in Sherman Oaks with Dante. So did you know Giovanna and Dante aren't together anymore? Now I do. Because of us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real though. He didn't bring anybody else around, you know what I mean? He, that was the only person he, he brought. I thought they were gonna go all the way. They were so corny. Yeah, <laughs> they were, that's they, true. They were cute. Did Dante ever talk about her mom or you know the relationship that he had with her? 
Mm-mm. No, no. I, I, he's close with his family, so like, I, no, I wouldn't see how he, he would want a problem with him, like his family at all. We so saw a photo that was posted mm-hmm. on December 25th. Did he not go to Florida around Christmas? So he was here. He was with us. So what actually ended up happening on Christmas? I thought she was gonna show up, like she shows up mm-hmm. all the time, but he came alone. It was everything was normal. Do you guys know who Allison is? No. You ever heard of an Allison? Never heard of an Allison. He's uh, hosting a game tonight. Yeah. You guys want to come with us to the poker game? Yeah. If y'all wouldn't mind just giving Dante a heads up, we don't want to like crash the poker right. game or make it weird for you guys and your friendship. Yeah, right. Thank you guys so much. much. Yes. Later y'all guys. Have a good one. Right. Peace out. She yeah. said you guys were supposed to spend New Year's together. We found a tagged photo on Christmas day yeah. and yeah. you were actually in LA with a couple people. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you just tell her, look, this isn't working? Like, I know if I tried to like talk about it with her, like for sure it was going to be like emotional. There was going to be tears. I feel like this was the best way for like both of us to just like try to forget it. Giovanna hasn't necessarily moved on, right? There's a lot of things that she's struggling with. There's a lot of questions that she needs answers to. And I mean, to be honest, between you and I, like it's, it's kind of fucked her up. Can you at least tell us, is this something that she did? It's honestly super uncomfortable to talk about. The main reason is just like, I don't, I don't really feel comfortable sharing it with anybody. We can arrange a safe space for you to come and meet Giovanna. No, I think I'm gonna pass, actually. Okay. No, you know what, wait, I'm gonna call her right now and you can tell her exactly why you're not gonna I'm show not gonna up. I'm not gonna Hello? I'm not doing this, Giovanna. All I'm asking you is for 10 minutes. Yeah, it gives us seven months of my life and you don't wanna like, explain to me what happened? It's in the past for you, but I do care. Okay, I'll meet you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Will you really come? Yeah. yeah. Yo, Giovanna, it's Travis. Um, I'm walking away right now, but Dante just said yes, okay? I will be there. We will let you get back to your poker game. No problem. Okay. Do you still want to shake my hand? Yeah, of course. Okay. I have a problem with you. <laughs> Thank you for being here after a month. Obviously, this is not what I was expecting. I tried to get an answer, but I feel like you pushed me to the limit. And I need to know why you did this to me. I thought that it was because of Allison. And then I even thought that it was because my mom didn't like you. (coughs) There's like no easy way to say this. Oh, God. This is really embarrassing. And uh, I kind of already had it like dead set in my mind that I was never going to tell anybody this. It's just like, and now I'm doing it on national TV. The last time we went to the beach. At night? Oh, uh, yeah, at night. Are you actually? Pulled cool. down oh my, my pants. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you were a, like, you were point. okay with him doing that? The real reason I ghosted you, Giovanna, is because you're a sex addict. What? You know that you have like a higher sex drive. Girl, you're like a f-ing rabbit. Like you just fun. F-ing. And I'm just trying to like calm down you're sometimes. You're pathetic. And you're chill. for real pathetic. And, no. Oh my God. So you're saying that because I was asking like to have sex with you because I love you because you were my boyfriend that make me like a sex oh addict. God, like I don't get it. Do this. I mean, like, I don't even know if you know this, but I almost got evicted because of all the noises we were making. You were making, actually. I don't scream at the top of my lungs when we're having sex. That's you. You're out of your mind. To actually take that against me, it's so low. Now it's time to bring a closure to this ghosting once and for all and decide if you both are either going to make up or ghost. Will you both please send your final text? I decided to ghost. I don't feel like we're in the same level, mentally talking. And if I'm gonna be with someone, it's not gonna be you. Fair enough. Dante, what did you decide? I decided to ghost Giovanna. And why did you decide that? Because I already did it eight months ago. Oh. Oh. I learned that, guys, you have to listen to your mother, for real. (laughs) And I'm way too young to actually like commit to something. She is way better off oh, without Dante. 
I just feel like, you know, usually there's some tears, usually, she you know, there's some tissues. Today it was like, peace. Yeah, no tears for Dante.